Good day everyone, welcome to a new update on this a very positive Monday as the markets are dropping a little bit and not only crypto markets are having a slight corrective move also the equity markets are showing some pain at this stage so we're going to discuss that in this update but before that do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel like this YouTube video and follow me on Twitter and Instagram as that is also where I'm posting daily content on the markets. And I hope I'll be back soon with the camera on. As today I've been going to the uh, doctor and hospital to get some stuff for my eyes. Um, I hope it's going to improve in the coming days. So then I'll be back in full focus once again. Also, it's the final five to six hours for the discount. I've been stating it in the previous updates. If you want to join our group on the silver or gold membership the prices are 79 euros for one month or 149 for one month for gold three months it is a little bit changed as the price are 225 and 419 one year the prices are 825 and 1499 but we've got a recurring 25 percent discount which is obviously great um, as then you can get a cheaper price if you go to the website and you click on the basket for gold for instance if you use a coupon called 82moon, I'll type it in for you, you can get a discount of 38 euros, 37 euros, 25 for every month that you stay as a member. So the actual price for a monthly membership is 111 euros. Final five to six hours before we're closing this discount. So if you want to join, use it tonight. Looking on the markets, also the crypto markets has seen some uh, not really bad news, but at least some news regarding the ETFs. And I've been covering that topic in the past updates in the previous weeks in which we said, hey, this could be something interesting for the markets overall. Um, well, today or actually yesterday, there came some news out from the US Secur Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, which is going to push back the deadline to decide on four Bitcoin exchange traded funds, which are Global X, Cryptoin, 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 yes, Valkyrie, and Wisdom Three Bitcoin ETFs, uh, which will be pushed back to later this year. So the dates will now be December 8th, November 21st, December 11th, and December 24th, which is the day before Christmas. Uh, we still have some more um, some more ETFs coming up, and also Gary Gensler has been positive and signaled a potential support for a futures-based Bitcoin ETF. I think the most likely ETF to come around is the one with Van Eck. Um, so we're waiting on that for to for this month or next month to pass by. Also, uh, we've got some bad news in the markets overall, which is Evergrande. Um, we can see that it's the real estate giant in China, uh, which is already all over the markets. Uh, we could be calling it Nevergrande from here onwards instead of Evergrande as it's moving around in a very negative way. And right now the trading was, was halted on Hong Kong stock today, um, pending on a potential deal. So it got me, uh, there's, it's, still, it's still a topic that is uh, singing around with the markets at this point. And China Evergrande will sell potentially a majority stake in its property management business for more than 5 billion. That's what Chinese media has stated about this one. And that would be the largest asset sale yet at the debt property developer if it goes ahead. So, um, yeah, this is covering the markets, but also the second one that's covering the markets is the increasing numbers of the U or in the oil prices and gas prices at this stage. And if you look back in history, and if you look back and how the prices have been covering, this was something different, an outlier in which we had the oil crisis overall. What we did see was a heavy run in 1998 to 2000 until the bubble popped on the dot-com bubble. So we saw a big heavy run up and in 2000 this one crashed as well. What did we see since? A big run up and then we've got the heavy crash and crisis regarding the housing market, right? which caused some pain on the markets too. Right now, we're seeing it swim around or crawling up once again. I'm not saying that we're getting at the verge or at the edge of a potential crisis to be happening, but it is something that we have to keep covering. And it is also something that we have to keep covering regarding yields, as those two might be a trigger how the equity markets are going to drop heavily. At this stage, could be a copy-paste of 2018, 
if there is going to be more supply to the market uh, we might be seeing a reversal of this price action uh, which has to come around quite fast but what it causing is a drop on the equity market the nasdaq is down approximately two percent today i'll just put it on a daily and it's showing a very bad candle overall is the entire structure gone well on a daily time frame it might be but when you're looking at the weekly time frame we've seen overall retest happening on and on so at this stage if we get a retest and which is going to happen around the area of 14,000 points it might be that this is just a very healthy retracement and the markets are just going to continue so for me the crucial level that we should be looking at when it comes to the nasdaq technically is the area around 14,000 points so right now a red candle on the net on the index uh, numbers in the us causing also europe to crash once again you can see the exact same picture on the dutch stock markets here too looking at bitcoin it is also showing a little bit of pain today but we are bouncing back swiftly and what we discussed earlier today it is still acting inside this range so we've covered this entire topic in which we stated hey most likely we're going to take the liquidity above the recent high through which we reverse and we're going to take the liquidity beneath the recent lows which is currently happening price is still very much stable at this point so we're just acting in a very similar range at this at this stage so what is what should you be looking at right now well bitcoin is actually quite positive when it comes to the equity markets we are up about 20 percent since the recent low and the equity markets are printing new lows which is a different uh movement right now and the panic in the equity markets is not jumping over to crypto markets so is it uncorrelated or are we getting towards a potential bottom on the equity markets as we can ban bounce back up with that one quite fast and is it already priced into the crypto markets that's also a question that you could ask overall the price action for bitcoin is just around the normal edge that we have been discussing so we've been stating most likely we're going to take the liquidity beneath the recent lows maybe this one too and just continue ranging in this area which should be fine and which is currently still the fact if we're going to look at the critical level that bitcoin has to hold it's the area between 44 to 45k and preferably you don't want to see price of bitcoin dropping all the way back there at this stage you want to see it sustained in this range and it's actually a good sign that the markets are not crashing too much when it comes to the equity market so everything is still fine crucial levels are still there keep that in mind and i think you should still be able to buy the dip nicely i'll see you again tomorrow don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram don't forget to use the discount if you want to become a member and have a wonderful evening